And but according to the Food and Drug Administration, too many Americans aren't even aware of how much they're eating. Because of that, the agency proposed a rule in November making it mandatory for our chain restaurants, movie theaters, pizza parlors to display those calorie counts on their menus. Well, today, the FDA says it's delaying that rule to give restaurants more time to comply. Channel 4's Francesca Amerger has been digging into this story. Francesca, critics, they're against the extension. That's right, Joy. I've been digging into this story and I've been digging into this pizza and critics feel like this rule will only, well, this extension of this rule will only give people like folks in the pizza industry and the grocery industry more time to lobby against the new rule. Oh, America. It's been said we've got some of the best food in the world. From Mellow Mushroom to Carabas, even a place that gives you instructions on how to eat your donut. But the joys of eating without guilt in the world could be ending next year, thanks to a new rule put in place by the FDA. Well, the old saying goes, you are what you eat, and thanks to this new rule, you'll be able to see what you eat. So let's see what I have in this Wendy's bag. Now, of course, everybody, every American almost likes a fry. You're looking at the junior fry right here, 310 calories, yum. And then, of course, you have to wash that down. This is an innocent Sprite, right? In fact, it's a small 200 calories. And then, of course, we all like our burgers. I actually got the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. And instead of just any burger, you're biting into 400 calories. And did I mention the ever-popular Wendy's three-quarter pounder is 1,090 calories? Yum. According to a local nutritionist, Americans eat mindlessly. So I'll ask you this question. How much popcorn do you consume before the movie even begins? I spoke to a registered dietitian who says too few Americans know the answer. If you actually have a calorie count posted, you, you're more likely, the more um, health conscious person is more likely to choose the smaller portion over the large portion. So maybe instead of getting four pounds of coffee from Dunkin Donuts, you'll buy just one serving. And according to some food companies in the pizza industry who have campaigned against the rule, visible calories are a problem. As a restaurant owner or a, a business owner, the bottom line is money. And so they don't want you to think twice about um, getting a very large pizza with all the toppings. Very tasty 200 calories. So is it worth it? Well, you can decide. December 2016 is when the new rule is said to go into effect. And again, this affects chain restaurants, movie theaters, and pizza parlors. And now reporting live from Chess Gamaker, Channel 4, the local station. Tracking weather with an hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Channel 4 is the weather authority. We were just arguing over whether or not Francesca really eats all that stuff. Yeah. She is thin. Yep, she is. I don't think she does, personally. <laughs> I used to work at a pizza place for 